State lawmakers approved a bill that requires proper shelter and water for dogs left outdoors. Animal advocates fought for six years through three legislative sessions to reach this point. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn joins us now to explain. Lynn Ann. Yeah, Heather, those behind the bill say that this is not about punishing dog owners, but educating them and giving local jurisdictions the tools they need to help dogs ex escape in humane conditions. What you'll see a lot of times is animals that are chained without any sort of um, shelter, which in Texas, you know, we've seen how deadly that can be. A new bill on Governor Abbott's desk hopes to ensure dogs kept outside are treated humanely, requiring these pets to be provided with adequate shelter and water. So before this, what would happen is you would go to court and you would say a piece of plywood against you know, the house is shelter, and we all know that that would not protect that dog. The bill also prohibits the use of heavy chains to restrain a dog. Some cities in Texas, like Dallas and Plano, already have ordinances to prohibit tethering. But for cities that don't, the bill gives a uniform set of rules on how dogs left outdoors should be treated. It finally defines what adequate shelter is. So it protects dogs from extreme exposures, um, standing water, and it actually ensures that dogs can stand, turn around, and lie down um, in their dog house. It also gets rid of a previously required 24-hour warning period before law enforcement can take action. Having a 24-hour waiting time, uh, that's the difference between life and death. So getting rid of that was very important. That basically made the law unenforceable because you could give them a warning and if they took the dog off the chain for five minutes and then put it right back on in the same conditions, you had to give another warning for 24 hours. The bill gives tools to enforce the law on repeat offenders. Those in violation could face fines and possibly even jail time if a situation escalates. But animal advocates say it's about educating dog owners, not punishing them. The last thing they want is more dogs being returned to the shelters because they're getting tickets. So their job truly is to educate first. And animal control officials advise people to report concerns as soon as possible. Don't wait until the weather is bad because that's when when organizations get overwhelmed. You know, whenever they know a freeze is coming and all of a sudden you get 100 calls about animals that have been in those conditions for months. And this bill is still awaiting Governor Abbott's signature, but the law is set to take effect in September. Heather. All right, Lynn Ann, thank you.